What is sleep paralysis? Have you ever had the experience of just waking up from sleeping, but it turned out that the whole body was unable to move or make a sound, and sometimes you even saw some stranger things? Is this what people call sleep paralysis? This all starts from dreams. Everyone has to spend about six years in dreaming throughout their lives. But why do we dream? How do astronauts pee? Obviously through their urethra, but when doing their number one, space toilets make use of a hose that will pull the urine away from them and then vent it out into space. Even the simplest bacteria alive today are far too complex to have popped into existence in a single step. Furthermore, the first reproducing creature could not have developed through biological evolution because biological evolution requires reproduction in order to work. See this? This is a seed! This is the CDC's recommended mask. See that? See all this getting through? Masks don't work. Top 5 Accidental Scientific Discoveries Number 5. Plastic Number 4. The Microwave Oven Number 3. Radioactivity Number 2. The Strikeable Match And Number 1. Gunpowder Have you ever wondered why when you leave water out overnight, it doesn't taste as good the next morning? One of the reasons is that as water is left out, it absorbs a little bit of the carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. The carbon dioxide in the water will react to form carbonic acid, which will break down into more hydrogen ions. If you remember from chemistry, more hydrogen ions means that it is more acidic, thus has a lower pH. So one of the reasons the water tastes funny is that it's slightly more acidic. Now imagine a really big glass of water, like the ocean. It's going through this exact same process as well, so more carbon dioxide in the atmosphere means more carbon dioxide in the water, making it more acidic. And that's what ocean acidification is. So you know how in school you learn that the Earth looks like this? It doesn't. It looks like this. See those two gigantic blobs? They are sometimes called mantle blobs. They are larger than continents. And if they were on the surface of the planet, they would be so tall, the International Space Station would have to steer around them. These blobs might be old piles of the Earth's crust. They might be something left over from the Earth's formation. We know they're there because seismic waves from earthquakes travel through them differently. Some researchers think the blobs might fuel hotspot volcanoes like the ones in Hawaii. Others think they may have powered super volcanoes. So no, for sure, we need to know what the blobs are made of, and we don't. We just know they're there. Seismic wave studies haven't been that conclusive. So for now, all we know is that they're there, just messing with our conceptions of what the planet is. How to make a DIY hologram Materials Draw a trapezoid on a piece of paper Pattern it in a clear folder Cut the four pattern trapezoid Attach it with a clear tape And yay! Here's the finished product. Results. Search hologram video on YouTube. Thanks for watching. Follow for more random contents. You can use a science experiment to compare the densities of an American penny, which is composed mostly of copper, at least this one is because it's an older penny, to the density of a Japanese one yen coin composed of aluminum. Both are the smallest denominations of their country's currency. This experiment shows the one yen floats, but the American penny does not.
the density of copper is a lot greater than the aluminum, and the aluminum has a low enough density to float due to buoyancy. Here's a challenge. Can you get an American penny to float on top of a Japanese one yen coin? Give it a try. Wait, what? That's nasty. Lemma, try this. Science time. Cheesy cheese with my microscope. Am I DK? Do I need to spread this thinner? There's something. Let's go thinner. No, EWWW. EWWWW shouldn't have looked. 